It's called I. I am where God's breath collides with the universe, and I am always bleeding. It feels like time was wounded by humility, and bodies are scars where clocks temporarily stop. That's why I tell time, and time never tells me. I am completely gushing every single drop out against the inside tubes of muscles, losing a fatal amount of blood to the motion that moves it. I am a single drop of a volcano formed above the cups of water I travel to. But even a volcanic island takes several drops to create, and we make wells when we put our cups together. I hope you can see how I've fallen deep beyond physics. Now I turned every strand counterclockwise till the thread I'm reaching for rotates on the tip of my perspective. I am what happens when God makes man and man makes man. I don't think I did as good of a job as he did, but that's beyond ironic. You are what happens to me when I am you, at which point me is nothing more than tiny shears and toenail clippings or the leftover water that runs through the pipes beneath my bathroom after a shower. I wish we didn't have to wait 30,000 more years for me to finish transcribing the universe through science because it doesn't matter how many times I rip my soul from my body and shove it through the center of an atom, the words I use to say I love you will always flow through ears like funerals if I can't describe what demons look like or tell you how many are in the room. God, I pray for tongues in our mouths again instead of our minds. I apologize for how many times I hid it there so I could write an easier poem. And I won't even try to explain to you what poetry does to the space within its energy because I was given a far greater thing when God made you. Do you understand what I mean when I say I or do you think I'm always referring to me? Because I wouldn't waste my time referring to a familiar face that evaporates with the steps I take. When the words I form form, the soul gets summoned, and in that moment, me sleeps, and my memories become our language, the only one I'll ever need. I wonder if my English teacher understood the privilege of being a sensei, since you will always be Eve eating the apple with me one step ahead, except I won't sew up our nudity with leaves, or leave to sow seeds. We'll stare into each other's eyes till praise and thanksgiving turn sunlight through lenses to the place where rivers gush and dry up and learn what it means when I say I, you are the greatest gift that I was ever given. Every tongue can finally understand each other again like before 10,000 men tried to take all their me's to heaven and I lost the ability to know you. This is the rubric to find naked tongues where spells are simple pages in a dictionary and I can say your name like two eyes at the same time. Hope you guys enjoyed that. It was really fun blessing you guys a little bit. I hope you connected with me and I hope I see you somewhere else.